Hi there, are you interested in creating your own newsletter template? Here's an easy way to do that. For starters, go to Google and type in Google Drawing. Once there, click on Google Drawings so that you open up the Google Drawing field. Once you're here, go over to File. We're gonna start by making the page set up the size that we want. So you're gonna go to File, Page Setup. And then here it listed as standard four, three. I'm gonna to go to Custom, and I wanna create mine to be roughly eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna do eight by 10 and click OK. That's gonna change my canvas into a rectangular format. Once I'm at this part, I'm simply going to start adding some different shapes and overlays to create the look that I want. So I'm gonna start by doing a square shape. I'm gonna overlay my entire area and I'm gonna make that the background color that I want. So I'm gonna do a dark red today. Once I've got that, I'm gonna overlay some additional shapes to create my title area and the area that I want to put my text in. So again, I'm gonna do a rectangular area up here at the top. This will be where my title is going to go. I'm gonna change my color right away. I want it to be a white color and black border, which I already have here. I'm gonna make that just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna do the same thing down below, except this time I'm gonna do kind of a rounded edge rectangle. It's gonna be a text box space down here. Again, I'm gonna change the color to white. And I'm gonna add a few more boxes in here. I'm gonna do a long rectangle here. Change it to white again. And then I'm gonna do just a few smaller ones over here for small announcements, information. Oops, I already have that one in white. And I'll do this one. Once I've got this done, this is my general format that I'm going to use. I can adjust sizes and um, make some fine tuning changes as I go. And I can change those from week to week if I need to have one space larger than another for the information that I'm sharing. Okay, once I've got this, I wanna add a little pizzazz to it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of clip art. I happen to have quite a bit in my Google Drive already. So I'm gonna access it by going to the insert menu. I'm gonna access an image and I'm gonna bring my images in from Drive. But as you can see here, you can bring them in from multiple locations depending on where you may have the clip art that you want to include. So I'm gonna come up here and I know I've got an apple bunting. I'm gonna start with that. You're gonna notice when I click on it, I get the insert here. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna drag it down, you're gonna See me kind of putzing away here. And I'm gonna use Command C to copy that and Command V to Velcro an identical one. And I'm going to hit the Shift button, hold it down and click both so that I can group these together with a right click. And that way when I enlarge, they're gonna to come together as you can see here. Now I'm just gonna slide those up to the top just a smidge bit. Okay, I'm gonna add another image by going into my drive again. I know I've got a teacher clip art here that I'd like to use. She is. And again, I'm just gonna grab one of the handles here and resize. I'm gonna put her down in this corner. Oops. And then I'm gonna just really quickly add an apple just to kind of give it a little bit of pizzazz here, kind of even things out. And let's do this one. And again, I'm gonna grab a handle and resize it. And you can put these pieces of clip art wherever you want, change it up from week to week, depending on where you may have space based on the text that you are going to add. So by no means is this permanent. So I'm gonna tuck that right there. Okay, so as you can see right now, I've got my basic template with a little bit of clip art and my boxes, but I now want to add 
my text boxes. And like I had mentioned, these right here are going to be my text boxes, but right now it's just a shape. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to insert text box. And I'm just going to overlay this into that box. And that's where my text will go. Right now I'm not going to add anything in there. You could do this now. You could do this when you're actually doing your writing. Really, whatever works best for you. And then within those text boxes, whoops, drag this one down here and put it in here. Within those text boxes, then obviously you can change the size of your text, the font that you want, the spacing, etc. So I am going to put my title in right away. So again, I'm this time not going to use a text box, but I'm going to come down to Word Art, which is under the Insert menu. And I'm going to call this Mrs. Melko's oops, Tail Wagon News. My classroom used to be a dog-themed classroom. Okay, and I'm going to hit Enter. The thing I like about the Word Art is that I can change the size very easily just by grabbing a corner. I can pull it in, drag it, etc. While that's highlighted, I'm going to change my font just to give it a little bit of pizzazz, and I'm going to change it to black in color just so it pops a bit more. Pull that in just so it fits. I'm going to center that up and give a little more white space right here just so that it's not so overwhelming. There we go. So as you can see right now, just in those few moments, I was able to create a newsletter template that I can use from week to week. So when I'm finished putting in the other pieces of information that I want for this newsletter, when I'm ready to share this with parents, I'm going to come over to the file menu over here. And I am going to go to download as, and I'm going to download this as a, P, excuse me, as a PDF. My reason for going PDF is so that one, parents can't edit it. Um, but secondly, my reason for doing PDF is if I would be inserting any links in here that I would want parents to go to, those links will be live. And when parents click on them, um, they will be taken to that, that site. So from there, I can then share this PDF either via email. I can add it to um, Seesaw if you are using Seesaw or whatever other method you are electronically sending your newsletters out. So that being said, I hope this helps you out with setting up a newsletter template for yourself. Good luck. If you have any questions, please feel free to get a hold of me. You can find me on Twitter at, at smelco, or you can feel free to email me as well. My email address I will put here as well is sjmelko at pulaskischools.org. I'm going to drag that out and bring it down to this box. As you can see here, my information is there then. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and have fun.